a bustling carnival, the bohemian countryside, and Nixon's visit to China are all portrayed on this CSO program led by Edo Devart. Dvorak composed his Eighth Symphony at Visoka, his country home in southern Bohemia. The sounds of nature echo throughout its four movements, from the opening flute theme, reminiscent of birdsong, to a wistful adagio, a very Slavonic waltz, and a rousing finale. In 1893, Dvorak made his one and only appearance in Chicago, conducting this score at the World's Columbian Exposition. Dvorak drew thunderous applause and glowing newspaper reviews. Dvorak's Carnival Overture was part of a trilogy of concert overtures that he collectively titled Nature, Life, and Love. Eventually, these were published separately, and life became Carnival. Dvorak said the vigorous score depicts a lonely contemplative wanderer who arrives in a city at dusk to encounter a carnival filled with bustling crowds, barkers, and street musicians. Igor Stravinsky wrote his neoclassical violin concerto in 1930 for Samuel Dushkin, a Polish-born violinist. Dushkin had served as a consultant on the piece, and according to one famous anecdote, Stravinsky sketched out an unusual triple-stop chord on a restaurant napkin and asked Dushkin if it was playable. The chord became the concerto's musical signature, leading off each of its four movements. Lila Josefowicz is the soloist. The program begins with The Chairman Dances by John Adams. The composer described this fanciful piece as an outtake for Nixon in China, his seminal opera about President Nixon's historic visit to Beijing in 1972. Its subtitle is Foxtrot for Orchestra, and there's a corresponding scene in the opera in which Chairman Mao and his young wife, a former movie actress, dance a foxtrot in the midst of a state banquet. Adams says the music is, quote, sometimes slinky and sentimental, at other times bravura and bounding.